in everyday life, from air travel, accessing money, keeping the lights on, to online shopping, computers are tied together like never before. But how secure is the nation's cyberspace? I don't know. It's either bad or very bad. Uh, those are our options. The president says Americans know the problems, and they've been ignored too long. We've had to learn a whole new vocabulary just to stay ahead of the cyber criminals who would do us harm. The spyware and malware and spoofing and phishing and botnets. And he says it's time to make sure the country that invented the Internet is secure in cyberspace. From now on, our digital infrastructure, the networks and computers we depend on every day, will be treated as they should be, as a strategic national asset. The government and the military say their systems are probed millions of times every day. The intelligence community's former chief information officer says the problem goes well beyond that. Cyberspace, cybersecurity is not the sole purview of national defense, national security. It's a matter of national economy and it affects every person. The president's putting a premium on training a cyber savvy workforce to keep up with technology and working with the private sector to better protect their networks. He'll also name a cyber coordinator as part of a broad plan to transform the nation's digital security. But critics warn that cyber czar won't have the necessary authority to oversee wholesale changes. The president insists the czar will have regular access to him. But there are fears the bureaucratic maze will make it tough to bring about any big change. Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, The White House.